Somebody's out there. He ain't one of them. Open the gate. Howdy, mister. Howdy. You're gonna be okay. Step right up! Step right up! Don't be shy now. Don't be shy. Nature confounds us, but science saves us. That's the truth, sir. That's the truth. West Dickens patented tonic. The only 100% original, 200% guaranteed cure against the undead stalking this earth. It not only brings health and fitness to the sick and needy, it repels the undead and saves souls! Why, it's a natural miracle! And it's available now, here, at the low, low price of only 100 solid gold coins! That sounds expensive, but what price eternal damnation! <laughs> you, sir! You look healthy. Would you like to give it a try? Me, sir? Yes, sir! Would you care to demonstrate the undead defeating possibilities of this patented elixir? No, sir, I would not. What I would like is for you to stop peddling this nonsense right now. 100 gold coins? Well, what price would you pay for survival? You tell me, Mr. West Dickens. You tell me. Well, since you put it that way, um, why don't all you chaps all take one for free now? And uh, if you like it, when you like it, uh, you'll know where to find me. Uh, you won't find any undead around me. <laughs> take it, enjoy. <laughs> Thanks a lot, John. These people have lost their families. They've lost everything. Well, that's not my fault. I'm just trying to make an honest living here. No, you're not. Well, uh, Okay, but can I help it if demand is high? High? I'm offering the people hope, John. That's a precious commodity. The tonic really works. <laughs> These poor, awful, undead creatures can't stand it. <laughs> Come here. Take a look. Works like a charm. Uh, well, it wasn't quite what I expected. Stuff is like catnip to those bastards. Uh, well, I, I, I need more desert sage and uh, violet snowdrop, and then I know I can cure this foul plague. Okay. Back to doing your dirty work, am I? Now, don't be like that. Don't you remember the good times? Please? I'm an old man! All right. Here. Take it. Maybe you can use it to attract some of them. Okay. I'll see what I can do. And thanks. I'm sure this will come in real handy in case I want to meet some new and interesting friends. <laughs> mm. Interesting.
off! No! 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 Get out! Oh. Ah, get away! Get away! Oh, get out! Get out! Get, Another get, satisfied get, get, customer, oh. Mr. West Dickens. Oh, hello, John. Yeah, poor fellow can't get enough. As I see. Get rid of him, would you? Why? Uh, well, because we're old friends. No. Uh, uh, because uh, we'll team up and fight the forces of darkness together? No. Uh, because I've got something you want. Uh, trust me, you cynical bastard. Oh. 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 Thank you, dear boy. Oh. Thank you. Oh. 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 Did you get the stuff? Of course. Oh, excellent. <laughs> oh, wait just a minute. <laughs> ah, here you go. Now these should help. If I've got my mathematics correct, they'll blow the buggers apart. <laughs> and if you've got your sums wrong? Oh, ye of little faith. Now listen, John, you're going to need some more serious weaponry. I've got a plan, <laughs> but you need to pick up some old parts at Riley's charge. Another shopping trip. Yeah, well, excuse me if my efforts at salvation are interrupting your busy social calendar, John. I'm only trying to help because... Because we're, we're old friends, I know. <laughs> You better not be wasting my time. Uh, me? <laughs> Never. <laughs> Perish the thought. <laughs> what is going on? Slim pickings off the undead. Come on! Yeah! Wes Dickens! Uh, Nigel! Where are you, old man? You better not have gotten killed. Under here! <laughs> Get out here. Are you alone? No. I brought the great mass hordes of the undead with me. Of course I'm alone. Well, it's not the undead I'm worried about, dear boy. I kind of like them. It's the normal people I can't stand. What's happened? Now, don't be like that. I haven't done anything, or stolen anything, or even lied that much. What then? A bunch of people just chased me out of town. They blame me for everything that's happened. I tell you, John Marston, I've been selling health tonics for years, from here to Timbuktu, and never once has there been a, a demonic bloodlust or the undead rising up. It's preposterous. Okay. No! They want to hang me! Me! An honest salesman! Can you believe that? Snake oil merchant who cried wolf. Well, yeah, something like that. Um, well, I'm headed south. I'm, I'm headed down to Mexico. I hear things are much better down there. Not to mention the, uh, the climate and the nice locals, but uh, also the merciful lack of cannibalistic morons with infectious eye diseases. <laughs> oh. Did you, uh, 
get the bits and bobs I requested? Sure. Ah, ha, ha. Excellent. Uh, that's just a moment. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, ah, there. I see. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. no. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Here you go. <laughs> I risked my life for this? A blunderbuss? Is this a joke? What is this, 1850? Oh, ye of such little faith. You've been hanging around cattle and killers too long. You've got the compassion of a mass murderer and the intellect of a cow patty. I'll stick your faith in this gun where the sun don't shine. This is the weapon of choice for demonic horde killers everywhere, from Romania to Edinburgh and all the other places the undead roam. You can put pretty much anything into it and blow a bunch of the buggers away in one go. Makes your rifle look like a pea shooter. You better not be lying to me. Uh, would I lie to you, John? Uh, to others, I admit the occasional uh, <clears throat> sin of omission. But to you, never, dear boy. Now, I... Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Ooh, ooh, ah. yeah. Now, I am headed down to Mexico. Is there any chance that uh, I will see you there? We shall see. Well, if you're interested, I should be at Solomon's Folly in a few days, trying to figure out a way to get in. I hear the border is not as open as it used to be. <clears throat> Ta-ta! <laughs>